Volterra, located in Tuscany. The north side of Italy is a beautiful region that has a rich historical background and many interesting sites for visitors. If you have never heard of this place before, we don't blame you. Unfortunately, it is one of many underrated cities in Europe. However, this does not mean Volterra, previously known as Velatri, is not special or worth being more well known. With its extraordinary architecture, magical landscapes, narrow streets full of colorful flags and beautiful flowers, it is truly a must-see that should be added to your bucket list. So, if you are someone who enjoys discovering and exploring little hidden gems, stay tuned as we dive straight into discussing the region of Volterra. History Let's travel back in time in order to learn more about the history of Volterra, the region that is home to no more than 6,000 inhabitants. But exactly how far do we have to go, you ask? It is known that this Italian region dates back to the 8th century BC, meaning it is up to 3,000 years old. Volterra was actually an Etruscan city, and a very important one at that. It was a part of the 12 cities league. In the 4th century BC, Volterra, which is 555 meters above sea level, was surrounded by stone walls, arches, gates and doors that have their individual names and lead you inside the city today. This 7 kilometers surround acted as a military defense for the town. However, later on in the 3rd century BC, the Romans took over after the Battle of Lake Vadimone. This resulted in Volterra becoming a part of the Italic Confederacy until Volterra became an independent commune in the 12th century, yet in the 14th century they were ruled by the Medici family of Florence, which ended in the year of 1530 and was followed by the Grand Duchy of Tuscany, an Italian monarchy from 1569, which replaced the Republic of Florence. Sightseeing As you might expect, because of this long and rich historical background, Volterra must have gathered lots of sightseeing opportunities for tourists. And that is exactly the case. There are an endless amount of things that can be done in this small medieval town. Let's start with one of the most significant ones, Teatro Romano or the Roman Theatre. It was built with the finances of the Caecina family during the ruling of Emperor Augustus in the 1st century AD. It was found in the mid-20th century. Once you step on the grounds of the ruins of this grandiose theatre, you're bound to get goosebumps. What is left includes 19 rows of raked seating and, unfortunately, just parts of the stage, which are mainly the marble columns. Whether you decide to visit it in the morning or during sunset, you're guaranteed to have the chance to enjoy a view that will take you back in time. One other very important place to visit is the Piazza dei Priori, which is considered to be the main square in Volterra, as it is also home to Palazzo dei Priori, Volterra's hall of the municipality. It is also surrounded by Palazzo Vescoville, Palazzo Incontri and Palazzo Pretorio. You can take in the picturesque surroundings or even visit the Palazzo dei Priori on the inside and climb up the stairs to look over the city of Volterra. In this square, you might be even able to enjoy a weekly food market. If not, you can always indulge in an authentic Italian cup of coffee as you admire the city. History nerds, this one's for you. We recommend visiting the 18th century Museo Etrusco Guarnacci, also known as Etruscan Museum. It is one of the oldest museums in Europe. Here, you can explore Etruscan sculptures and pottery at their exhibitions to deepen your knowledge and understanding of Volterra's history. Another landmark that you can add to your itinerary is the Volterra Cathedral, 
a Romanesque style Roman Catholic church that was rebuilt in the 12th century after an earthquake and is dedicated to Saint Mary. This version stands now, unfortunately. Information about the original church is unknown. You have to appreciate the calming and interesting exterior architecture as well as its interior halls and beautiful details. Some other places you might want to visit are the Palazzo Incontri Vitti, a museum of the Vitti family, the Medici Fortress, the Volterra Baptistry of San Giovanni, and much more. And also, do not forget that Volterra is the perfect place to enjoy authentic Tuscan food, starting from fetunta, a traditional appetizer prepared with grilled bread and olive oil, to rich tortelli with potato filling. You will be leaving Italy with a very, very happy tummy. So, what else do you need to be convinced to travel to Volterra and enjoy the hilly town with its amazing landscapes, mountains and greenery, as well as ancient ruins and incomparable architecture. We believe and hope that Volterra will soon become a famous travel destination. So, before it does, we recommend booking your flight to Italy now. Beware, the main option of getting to Volterra is by bus. There are no trains running and cars are hard to park. Get ready for your real romantic and unforgettable journey. Let us know down below if you had heard of Volterra before, and if so, what you knew and what you didn't know about it. Thank you for watching.